If you're feeling overwhelmed trying to keep up with AI news, you're not alone. Every single day there's a new model drop, a new feature, or some company claiming they just changed everything. And honestly, it's exhausting trying to figure out what actually matters. Well, I spent the last 48 hours diving deep into this week's biggest AI announcements, and here's what surprised me. Three of these updates are going to fundamentally change how you work, and they're all available right now. Welcome back to bitbiased.ai, where we do the research so you don't have to. Join our community of AI enthusiasts. Click the newsletter link in the description for weekly analysis delivered straight to your inbox. So in this video, I'm breaking down the seven most important AI developments from this week that you actually need to know about. We're talking video generation that produces content in under 20 seconds. AI that can literally control your computer like a human would and a healthcare breakthrough that might change how we think about medical AI. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly which tools to pay attention to and which ones are just hype. Let's start with something that's going to blow your mind. Elon Musk just dropped a video model that's unlike anything we've seen before. XAI's game-changing video model. Elon Musk's XAI just officially launched Imagine V0.9, and I need you to understand how wild this actually is. This isn't just another video generation model. This is the first AI system that creates high-quality videos with synchronized sound in 15 to 20 seconds. Let that sink in. 15 seconds from prompt to finished video with audio. But here's where it gets really interesting. Imagine V0.9 runs on XAI's proprietary Grok Aurora engine, and it introduces something I haven't seen in any other video model a voice-first interface. You can literally describe what you want out loud through voice mode and watch it generate videos hands-free. No typing, no complex prompts, just speak and create. I've been looking at the early demos, and the quality is honestly stunning. We're talking cinematic visuals with fluid motion, realistic lighting, and ambient soundscapes that actually match what's happening on screen, all generated in near real time. Musk is positioning this as a step toward fully conversational creativity, and he's hinting that future updates will include interactive storytelling, scene editing, and even 3D video generation. Now, analysts are already saying this puts XAI in direct competition with Sora, Vio, and Pika. But the voice-driven approach is what sets it apart. If you're a content creator, educator, marketer, or filmmaker, this could completely eliminate the manual editing and rendering bottleneck you've been dealing with. And wait until you see what OpenAI just countered with. OpenAI transforms ChatGPT into a development ecosystem. Speaking of game changers, OpenAI just made a move that has developers absolutely buzzing. They've officially turned ChatGPT into a full-fledged development ecosystem with three major launches, Codex, Agent Kit, and the app's SDK. And trust me, this is bigger than it sounds. Let me break this down. Codex acts as an AI coworker that writes, reviews, and refactors code across multiple programming languages. We're not talking about simple code suggestions here. This thing can dramatically reduce developer workload by handling complex coding tasks from start to finish. But here's what really caught my attention. AgentKit takes a completely no-code approach. It lets you design multi-agent workflows where AI systems actually collaborate with each other to complete complex projects autonomously. Think about that for a second. You're essentially orchestrating a team of AI agents to work together on your project without writing a single line of code. And then there's the apps SDK, which is honestly brilliant. It enables seamless embedding of third-party tools like Canva, Zillow, or Slack directly within ChatGPT. No more juggling between different apps and platforms. Everything happens in one place. Early developer feedback is calling AgentKit a potential game-changer for software workflows. You can turn natural language prompts into working applications, which means the barrier between idea and execution just got dramatically lower. OpenAI isn't just positioning itself as an AI provider anymore. They're building the infrastructure that could become the operating system for AI development. This next one, though, this is where things get a little unsettling. 
Google's AI can now control your computer. Okay, so Google just unveiled Gemini 2.5 computer use. And this is either incredibly exciting or slightly terrifying, depending on how you look at it. This AI model can interact with your computer exactly like a human would. Clicking buttons, filling out forms, scrolling through pages, and navigating websites or apps completely autonomously. Here's what makes this significant. Early tests are showing it runs tasks 50% faster and with 18% higher accuracy for complex operations. We're talking about things like completing multi-page forms or handling file uploads. Tasks that usually require constant human attention and are frankly tedious. Google is claiming that Gemini 2.5 outperforms all leading alternatives on web and mobile benchmarks with low latency and high reliability. They've included API-level access and built-in safety controls that limit unauthorized actions, which is crucial because nobody wants an AI agent going rogue on their system. This puts Google in direct competition with OpenAI's upcoming agent builder and Anthropic's Claude Ops. But what developers are particularly excited about is the enterprise potential here. Imagine autonomous digital agents handling repetitive tasks like scheduling, data entry, or customer support without any human supervision. That's not some future possibility. That's available now. Analysts are calling this a major step toward fully autonomous digital assistance. And honestly, when you combine this with what OpenAI and XAI just announced, you start to see the direction we're heading. But wait until you hear what Microsoft is doing in healthcare. Microsoft's healthcare AI breakthrough. Microsoft is making a serious play in healthcare AI, and they're doing it the smart way, by partnering with Harvard Medical School. They've secured a licensing deal to integrate medical data into Copilot, and this upcoming update is going to turn Copilot into a trusted AI healthcare companion. According to Reuters, the system will be trained using anonymized case studies and clinical insights developed by Harvard researchers. This isn't some random training data they scraped off the internet. This is scientifically rigorous, clinically validated information that complies with patient privacy regulations. Here's why this matters. In healthcare AI, precision and ethics aren't optional. They're everything. By aligning with Harvard Medical, Microsoft is positioning itself to provide enterprise healthcare clients and professionals with AI assistance for diagnostics, medical writing, and patient management. These are high-stakes applications where accuracy can literally be life or death. But there's something else happening here that's worth paying attention to. This partnership signals Microsoft's growing independence from OpenAI. They're building their own specialized models under the Copilot ecosystem, which tells you they're thinking long-term and vertical-specific. Analysts are already predicting we'll see similar Copilots for law, finance, and other specialized industries. And consider this. Healthcare spending exceeds $4 trillion globally. If Microsoft can position Copilot as the vital interface between practitioners, patients, and intelligent medical data, we're talking about a massive market opportunity. This next story might seem smaller, but it actually reveals something important about enterprise AI adoption. Deloitte's massive AI deployment. De Deloitte just deployed Claude AI across its entire global workforce. We're talking 470,000 employees spanning over 150 countries. This is one of the largest enterprise AI rollouts we've seen and it's designed to boost productivity and support clients in their own AI adoption initiatives. Now, there was some minor controversy in Australia over AI-generated report inaccuracies, which honestly isn't surprising when you're deploying at this scale. But what's interesting is how Deloitte responded. They're enforcing stricter model validation protocols. This is the reality of enterprise AI adoption. It's not just about plugging in the tool and hoping for the best. You need governance, validation, and accountability. What this tells us is that major consulting firms see AI assistance as fundamental infrastructure now, not experimental technology. When a company like Deloitte commits to this level of integration, it sends a signal to every other enterprise watching from the sidelines. 
And speaking of signals, this next story about consumer behavior is absolutely wild. The AI shopping revolution. Here's a stat that's going to blow your mind. According to Adobe Analytics, AI-assisted shopping is expected to skyrocket by 520% this holiday season. But that's not even the crazy part. Traffic could potentially spike 1,000% on Black Friday specifically. More than half of surveyed consumers are planning to use AI for gift discovery, price comparison, and deal hunting. We're not talking about a niche group of tech enthusiasts here. This is mainstream consumer behavior shifting in real time. Platforms like ChatGPT, Perplexity, and Google Shopping are already integrating AI couponing, personalized recommendations, and automated checkout tools to meet this demand. Think about what this means. Consumers are increasingly trusting AI assistance to make purchasing decisions, optimize savings, and streamline the entire shopping experience. Analysts are saying this surge reflects a fundamental shift toward AI-driven consumer behavior. And if you're in e-commerce or retail, you need to be thinking about how your business interfaces with these AI shopping assistants, because that's where your customers are going to be making decisions. Before we wrap up, there's one more personnel move that tells us a lot about where the industry is heading. Anthropic's strategic leadership hire. Anthropic just appointed Rahul Patil as their new chief technology officer. And if that name sounds familiar, it's because he was previously the CTO at Stripe. This is a significant hire, and here's why it matters. Paddle's expertise is in scaling high-performance systems, exactly what Anthropic needs as they expand their Claude AI platform for enterprise clients. This isn't just about building better models anymore. It's about infrastructure, reliability, and the ability to serve millions of enterprise users with consistently high performance. Industry analysts are viewing this as a strategic move to strengthen Anthropic's competitive position against OpenAI and Google DeepMind. The race isn't just about who has the smartest model. It's about who can deliver reliable, safe, and enterprise-ready AI systems at scale. And by bringing in someone with Patil's track record, Anthropic is signaling they're serious about winning that race. Conclusion. So there you have it, 7A. I developments that are actually shaping the future right now. From voice-controlled video generation, to autonomous computer control, to AI-powered healthcare, we're watching the landscape transform in real time. Here's my question for you. Which of these updates do you think will have the biggest impact on your work or life? Are you excited about AI agents handling your repetitive tasks? Or are you more interested in the creative tools like Imagine? Drop a comment below and let me know. I read every single one, and your insights always help shape future videos. If you found this breakdown valuable, hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss the next AI News Roundup. Because trust me, at the rate things are moving, there will definitely be more to talk about next week. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.